ancient of days. Rain, rain, rain. There is none there. There is not like a God like you. Ancient of days. Ancient of days. Rain, rain. A blessed morning to you, dear startup. It is a joy to come your way this morning, and we are excited. You are tuned in to be a part of this broadcast. We pray your life will never be the same. As you join us in this 30 minutes of word and prayer. And I believe you are ready with that. Please share the link. Invite a friend, a brother, um, whoever you can share it to them and let them join in. It's just 30 minutes and we should be out of your way. But the impact will remain the rest of your life. If you believe, shout and say, I believe. I believe. Hallelujah. This morning, our scripture reference is taken from Matthew chapter number 13. We have been dealing with Matthew chapter number 13, the parable of the sower since Monday. And today we are on the verse number 7. The verse number 7. Matthew 13, verse number 7. Matthew 13, verse number 7. Matthew 13. Verse number 7. And I read, And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up and took them. Some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up and took them. This is the story. If you are joining us for the first time since Monday, it is a parable of the sower, and we are equating the work of the sower to your labor and your force in the area of work. We believe that work is a, an avenue for God to bless you, for God to bless us. So when our effort goes wayward, things can go wrong. The Bible says the sower went to sow, and whilst he sowed, some of the seed fell by the wayside. Others fell on stony grounds, which we have dealt with. Today it says it fell on, among tongues, and the tongues sprang up and took them. Ladies and gentlemen, these tongues were in the ecosystem of where the seed was being planted. Yes. These tongues were already there before the seed fell amongst them. The tongues were not removed. The tongues were just there. The land was prepared, but whilst they were sowing the seed, whilst we were working hard, some of the effort fell among the tongues. It's just like you and I. We are doing our best, but it looks as if that our efforts are falling into places that we least expected. Hey. Our efforts are falling into places where we don't get the necessary recognition. Hey. Our efforts are falling into places where we are stifled and choked. Hey. But today, any system of tongues that is fighting your way by the power of the Holy Ghost, clap hey. us and say, cut fire. Hallelujah. Amen. The tongues represent the problems of life, as Jesus explained. The situations of life. The attacks of life. That happened to men and women naturally. They were there, but because they were not dealt with, as long as you begin to work, your efforts fall amongst them. And these things can spring up, or they sprang up and they choke them. Anything hiding in your life. Any situation hiding in your life. That is waiting to consume and to choke your effort. Hey. Today, by the power of the Holy Ghost, we take it out. Amen. We pull it down. Amen. We pull it down. Amen. We pull it down. Amen. In the name of Jesus. You can imagine when you have been in a relationship for years. Hey. Unknown to you, your partner has a certain attitude that you didn't know, you never saw. But while the relationship was advancing, the character and the attitude started coming up. And it starts choking your effort of love into the relationship. Until that thing is dealt with, no matter what you put in, it will choke your effort and will destroy it. If a company will not honor you, your service, and, and, and appreciate you well enough, no matter what you put in, the system will choke your effort. When the same with life, if life where you are positioned and postured, if there are situations, you are in a family, where there are situations, you are in a community, which does not permit and allow you to flourish, no matter what you do, it will choke you. But today, any societal system, hey. a, any system you are involved in, around you, any family, any friendship, that is choking you, clap your hands and shout, I break out. Shout, I break out. 
shout, I break out. Say in the name of Jesus, my effort will not fall among tongues to be choked. In the name of Jesus, say in the name of Jesus, my effort will never fall among tongues to be choked. In the name of Jesus, if I'm ready to pray, lift your voice and begin to bless the name of the living God. Father, we honor you. Father, we bless you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you adoration. Father, we say, let your name alone be glorified. Hey, we honor you. Hey, we give you praise. We give you glory. Father, we honor you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. Be glorified. 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 In the name of tongues represent strongholds. Tongues represent systems that you you they are already there you just fell into it if there are strongholds in the family no matter what you do those strongholds will choke you at one point ladies and gentlemen imagine if your life um there's a bloodline sickness in the in the family no matter what you do it is highly likely that you shall have it and no matter what it will choke you at a certain point it sprang up and it choked them but we are praying that father any tongues in my life in my family around me oh god that is preparing to choke my efforts to choke my labor let it cast fire right now in the name of jesus say my father my makeup my lord and my god Oh Lord, oh Lord, any tone, any tone in, my body, in my body, any tone, any tone in, my life, in my life, in my environment, in my, environment, in my, family, in my family, waiting, waiting to, spring to spring up on me, on me and choke me. And choke Father, Lord, Father Lord, as I pray, as I pray let that tone let be cleared from my life. Let that tone be pulled out, be pulled out in the name of Jesus. Any system of tones at my workplace in a system of tones in my industry choking my efforts choking my labor choking my efforts as i clap and i pray by the blood i pull them out i pull them out i pull them out i pull them out lift your voice and me no pray right now ramako we pull out we pull out every demonic and satanic system program to choke you and the demonic and satanic system program to suffocate you to suffocate your efforts to suffocate your labor to suffocate your ways in the mighty name of jesus we pray oh god let those system be removed let that system be pulled out in the name of jesus by the power mighty name of the lord father let it be pulled out right now in the name of jesus we pull out every tongue we pull out every tongue that is choking our life that is choking uh, our system. Uh, that is choking uh, our effort. Uh, that is choking uh, our labor. Right now, uh, lift your voice. Pray now. Zakada bada bade brande. Eya bada le brande le basha. Aye le bakori ande. E kada bada da. Re kada da da brande. Rakapa ya da balo shanta. Arema kotele andabade in the name of Jesus, Father, O oh God, in the system of tongues in my family, in my bloodline, choking my effort, 
choking my effort, choking my labor, choking my struggle, choking my hustle. In the name of Jesus, let them be removed, let them be removed, let them be pulled out by the power of the Holy Ghost. Father, Lord, let them begin to pull out in the name of Jesus. Aye kato shata, rebelele basukata, aye le makatori ande ba, e karabada da, reke telebesu. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, any system, amo kayata, any system of tongues suffocating your effort, suffocating your desire to break out. We decree and we declare that let those tongues be pulled out, be pulled. Be pulled out, be pulled out, be pulled out. You are struggling, you are putting in the work in the company. But every time there is a system that chokes your effort, there are people that choke your effort, they rise up to choke you, they spring up to choke you. But today we are saying, Oh Lord, in the system, position to choke and to suffocate my effort and to kill my effort. I pray in the name of Jesus, let them be removed. La paya kada brandele leba, ayele mashata da da ba, re paya kada da ba yada. In the name of, in the mighty name of, powerful testimony from one of our um, mission heads in the U.S. by name, Reverend uh, um, Agomeda. Reverend Magoda, God bless you for the great work we are doing. We honor you and we salute you for the great work. Reverend Magomeda and his church have bought a very large parcel of land in the U.S. In acquisition uh, process, they came against a lot of challenges, a lot of efforts after struggling for years. When they were not coming to buy this property, there were laws in the system that was suffocating them. But this man did something. He got, organized his, his, his members and they began to pray in the midst of prayer. In the midst of prayer, one day the governor of the state called them and said, we have noticed this and that and that and that and that. So we have decided that the law that prohibits you from purchasing this property. We are going to remove the law and create a space for you to acquire that property. And when you finish acquiring it and you get a documentation, we will put back the law. Today, I stand on this testimony and I declare over your life, any law suffocating you, let the law be suspended. Any law suffocating your business, let that law be suspended. Any law suffocating your marriage, let that law be suspended. Any law suffocating your dream, let it be suspended. Say by the blood of Jesus, oh Lord, let the, let the laws of my father's house, let the laws of my mother's house, let the laws of my generation that is suffocating my efforts, let the laws suffocating my labor, let those laws be suspended right now. I suspend demonic laws. I suspend laws that disadvantage my effort right now. Lift your voice and me to pray. They suspended the law just for them to acquire the land. And when they finish, they put back the law. We pray in the name of Jesus. Father, if you have done it for this man of God, we pray the same thing in our lives. We pray the same thing for our businesses. We pray the same things for our marriages, for our health. Let every law, every rule that is operating against us, let them be suspended. They are tongues. They are choking us. They are choking us. They are choking us. You want to serve God, but there are certain conditions terms and conditions that are choking you. You want to be dedicated to the things of God but terms and conditions surrounding your current life is choking you. Father we pray Father suspend them Father suspend them. Are you praying? Father, we pray, oh God, let evil laws, let demonic laws be, be, be suspended. 
be overthrown, be ruled out in the name of Jesus. And the law from the camp of the wicked, and the law operating and sabotaging my effort in my life, in my destiny, at my workplace. Let that law be suspended. I can feel the fire. I see something turning around for somebody right now. The Lord is suspending some laws. And the law in the family that says you cannot marry in the name of Jesus. Let that law be suspended. 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 By fire, by thunder, a belly, a cutter. And the law that is saying uh, you will not get a job. And the law that is saying uh, when you apply, you will never be employed. We decree, oh God, let that law be suspended in the name of Jesus. And the law in the family that says you will marry by your man will die. You will marry by you bury your children. By the power of the Holy Ghost, we suspend that law. And the law that is saying you will travel, but you'll be deported. We decree and declare, let that law be suspended right now. Right now. Makaya da 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 Zedebeliande bakata Makoberiande ba Rema sotoliande In the name of Jesus Let demonic laws Unfavorable laws Let them be overturned 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 E karabata da 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 Rekoporiande be Zanka baya da bada, repa ya katala da, repa ya katole, mashanda badele, riba kaya da ba, aye katole yandebe. In the name of Jesus, let them be suspended. 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 In the name of, in the mighty name of. Lord that is operating against stable health in that family. Let that law be suspended. And the Lord that is so, that is operating against stable finances. Let that law be suspended. And the law that is operating against stable families and stable homes. Let it be suspended right now. Amen. Come on, give the Lord everybody hand. Hey. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible says that they sprang up. It means that when the seeds were falling there, the thorns were not visible. They were not visible. They might be there as seeds. They might have been there as, as roots. You know that when you cut a tree, as long as the, the root remains in the ground, at the center of water, see, the same principle does not work for you and work against the enemy. Are you here with me? Yeah, so yeah, if yeah, it is yeah. working for you, then the likelihood that it is working for your enemy is a principle. It's a principle. God makes the rain fall on the righteous and the unrighteous. We are praying that if there is any seed planted that I can see, there is any root of thorns in the area of my oppression that is preparing to suffocate and frustrate my labor. Father, like Jesus cursed the fig tree, I curse those seeds. Amen. Any seed of thorns in my ground, I curse them. Any, any root of thorns in my ground, I curse them. May they be rotting, may they wither at the roots. Say in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh Lord, oh Lord, let the roots, let the roots of tongues in, in my ground, let the roots, let the roots of, problem of problem in my ground, in my ground. cut fire, fire. Right, now. right now. Let the roots, let the roots of problems, of problems. The, roots the roots of tongues begin, begin to wither out, out, out of my land. Of my and a seed, seed of tongues planted, planted many years ago, many years ago waiting, waiting to germinate and, and to choke me. As I pray by the power of the word of God, let that seed, let that root begin to wither, begin to wither. Listen, the Bible says that and they sprang up. It means it came with a surprise element. The seed that the man, the sower planted did not expect that tongues would grow from that place. But those sprang up. They sprang up. Surprise. You are doing something. And your plan and your business uh, proposal or your business 
thing is saying that this is how their business to grow. Within two years, you should break through at this point. Within four months, this happened. But there's suddenly certain things that are growing to choke their business today. And the root, it was already there, but I didn't see it. The problem was there, but your, your market research didn't reveal it. We are saying that any root of thorns in my land, any root of thorns in my body, any root, any seed of thorns, clap your say, wither by fire. Say, wither by fire. Say, wither by fire. Say my father, my maker. Any roots of thorns in my land. Any roots of thorns in my land. And they cut fire right now. Lift your voice and be able to pray right now. Rabadada. Zedebakaya badabaye. Rabakabaya baba. Rebanda badabaya. Rebanda babayada. Rebaba. Ze pa 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 da 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 ima sa ta da ba da da re ba ne le le ba sha let them with her let them with her let them with her in the ancient root of tongues in my father house in my mother's house in my life in my family father as we pray let them with her let them with her right now in the name of jesus let them with her now let them with her now we forbid them uh, from glory uh, into trees to choke our effort uh. they will not choke our children they will not grow and choke our families they will not grow and choke our opportunities they will not grow and choke our marriages they will not grow and choke us by the power and efficacy of the blood. Ayo, Rabandelele Basata, Emma Catole Basocapa, Imaya Dabade, Macoberian de Basata, in the name of Jesus, we decree, let them weather, let them weather, let them weather. Let them with us, 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 Maya Kaya Bareba Santadabaya, Rebe Kaya da Barobo Satanaba, Ayeberian de Bakaya Basata, Zende Barian de Katosh, Raban de Kete, Mikaya da Baneba Suta, Ayeleba Katurian debe, Maya Kapadandaba, in the name of Jesus. Let them winter, let them winter in the name of Jesus. Any root that is in the ground waiting to grow and spring up on me to surprise and choke me, to choke my marriage at a good year, to choke my children while they are growing. Any disease waiting to spring up on us, Father, in the name of Jesus, let the root of that disease winter, let the root of evil diseases winter, let the root of strange diseases winter in the name of Jesus, it will not be at the point of celebration that things will spring up at you in the name of Jesus. My Yekapa Zada da 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 Yako de Belia Neleba Shandaba Rakada Pade Lebranda in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Father, we declare, let them not survive. Let them not survive. Let them not survive. Let them not survive. Let them perish. Let the roots of thorns ready to spring up and choke us. Let those roots wither, 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 wither. In the name of, I pray for you this morning. As you step out there, I pray that there will be no tongue growing up to choke you. Amen. Your effort will not be choked. Amen. Your labor will not be choked. Amen. The Lord will clear them from your way. Amen. May the Lord clear you of every tongue around you Amen. and within you. Amen. May you grow and flourish. Amen. You will flourish like a tree planted by the rivers of living waters. Amen. I pray that no enemy shall prosper Jesus. against you. Amen. 
their plans against you will fail. Amen. Whatever will rise up as a surprise in your life, Jesus. by the power of the Holy Ghost, we shut them down. Amen. Let evil laws be suspended for your sake. Amen. Let law that has dwelt in your family for long, laws of disadvantage, laws of sabotage, let them be suspended even in the name of Jesus. Amen. Can I hear your loudest amen? amen. Hallelujah. Put us together for the Lord. <laughs> amen. Amen. I have not read your messages in a while today. Let's read a couple of them. This one says, today is my birthday. You sent this yesterday. They said, tomorrow is your, my birthday. Remember me in your prayers. Sandra from Akosombo. We pray for you, Sandra. May the Lord bless your new year with goodness, blessing, and honor. We pray that may your year start with the power and remain stirred up with glory and goodness. Everything that is good, that which is precious, that which is beautiful, may that come your way in the name of Jesus. We connect to everyone who is celebrating their birthday in the past week and the coming week. We pray that may the Lord himself bless your new year amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Can I hear an amen here? Amen. Hallelujah. This one says, God bless you, Reverend Kake. God bless you too. This one also says, I declare that my business, my marriage will not experience the stony ground um, effect in the in the thunderous name of jesus we declare may that be in jesus mighty name amen, amen and amen. amen this one says i receive every prophetic word from the man of god this morning amen, amen. may it work for you in jesus name amen, amen. this one says my sister's name is sarah Koko. um the, the same name is a bit it's a mouthful so i don't want to do uh, destroy your name but I think you know who you are. Please pray for her so that this stony situation she is facing will come to an end. I believe in the altar of my father and mother, Eji and Mama Rita. I pray for you in the name of Jesus that may the Lord whom you have turned to, may he turn every stony situation into a blessed one. Amen. May the Lord who you have turned to, may he honor your prayers and give you a good result. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. This one says, good morning, man of, man of God. My sister is a nurse. She lives and works in Barbados. And now she is applying for, for visa to come to Australia or Canada, but has been rejected several. Every spirit of rejection hey, operating against your life. Jesus. Clap your says, shall break, break. shall scatter. scatter. So her working contract in Barbados ends this year in August. She is in a bad state. All she is thinking and praying for is her visa approval. My mom and I are praying about it, but we need a higher authority and anointing to intercede for her. We know, we know it is a spiritual attack. Please, by the mercies of God, help with our sister's prayer. We pray and we join our faith together. Anyone who also finds themselves in this situation and is looking for documentation, is looking for an exchange, is looking for renewal, looking for whatever that has to do with immigration Jesus. in foreign countries, we pray in the name of Jesus. May the hand of the Lord reach out to you Amen. now. We pray that in the next seven days, hey. in the next seven days, yes. may you hear a good news. Amen. May every law, that is fighting your transfer. That is fighting your new job. That is fighting the documentation you are expecting. May that law be suspended in the name of Jesus. Whoever is sitting and operating that law, may they be removed briefly for you to get what you want and may they all be put back. We pray in the name of Jesus that you will never go down, but the Lord will be your strength, your guide, and your support in the mighty name of Jesus. Send our link to your sister all the way in Barbados and let her be watching and praying with us. The Lord is preparing something good for her. God bless you. My name is Reverend Kalke. Follow me on the social media handles that is showing up on the screen and we will interact, we will chat, and we will see what the Lord will do for us. My name is Reverend Kalke. Call me the Revivalist. And do have a stead of day. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Bye -bye.